Hello all you wonderful explorers out there and a special shout out to our new subscribers. We are thrilled to have you on board this journey of discovery. We're always looking for more curious minds to join us, so if you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Today, we're taking a detour from the usual tourist spots to uncover a lesser known facet of Singapore. Yes, we're exploring the dark side of living in this city-state, so buckle up as we delve into the darker aspects of this seemingly perfect city. Singapore a city of opulence and prosperity, but this luxury comes with a price. Take a moment to consider the dazzling skyline, the sprawling shopping complexes, and the world-class dining experiences that Singapore offers. Behind this shimmering facade, however, lies a different reality, one that the average resident grapples with every day, the high cost of living. Let's start with housing. Singapore is known for its architectural marvels, ranging from luxurious condos to state-of-the-art public housing, but this doesn't come cheap. A modest apartment in a decent neighborhood can set you back by a significant amount, making housing a substantial chunk of an average resident's expenditure. Next, let's talk about commodities. From groceries to clothing, everything carries a hefty price tag in Singapore. The city's reliance on imports for most goods adds to the cost, making even basic necessities a strain on the wallet. And then there's the cost of leisure. Dining out at one of the city's many eateries? Prepare to fork out a good amount of your pay. Want to enjoy a night out at a fancy club? That's a luxury few can afford regularly. Even transportation, with the city's well-organized public transit system, is not immune to the high cost of living. While it's cheaper than owning a car, thanks to the high taxes and fees associated with vehicle ownership, it still takes a considerable bite out of your monthly budget. Education, healthcare, utilities, you name it, and it's likely more expensive in Singapore than in many other places. The city-state's residents face a constant financial strain with salaries often struggling to keep pace with the skyrocketing costs. But let's not forget about the less tangible costs. The stress of living in such a high-pressure environment, the long working hours, the struggle to maintain a work-life balance. These are all part of the package when you choose to call Singapore home. So, while the city might glitter with wealth, not everyone can partake in its opulence. The Lion City is known for its law and order, but it's not all rosy. Now, let's delve into one of the darker aspects of living in Singapore, the stringent rules and regulations. Yes, these laws have shaped Singapore into one of the safest and cleanest cities in the world. But the flip side, these strict rules can sometimes feel oppressive, stifling creativity and freedom. Imagine having to think twice before chewing gum or worrying about a hefty fine for not flushing the public toilet. While these laws might seem amusing to outsiders, they are a part of daily life for the residents of Singapore. In a society where rule-breaking is frowned upon, there's a constant pressure to conform. This pressure, combined with the fear of public shaming or legal repercussions, can lead to a sense of unease and anxiety. Then there's the issue of censorship. Singapore has strict laws governing what can and cannot be said or shown in the media. This extends to films, music, and even social media. The government maintains that these laws are necessary to maintain racial and religious harmony in the diverse city-state. However, critics argue that such heavy-handed censorship stifles creativity and suppresses dissenting voices. But it doesn't stop there. The laws also extend to personal lifestyle choices. For instance, there are strict rules against smoking in public places, and even e-cigarettes are banned. While such rules are aimed at promoting public health, they can feel restrictive to those who value personal freedom and choice. So, while Singapore's strict rules and regulations have undeniably contributed to its success as a safe and orderly city, they do come with a cost. They create a society where conformity is valued over individuality, and where creativity and freedom of expression can sometimes feel stifled. For those who crave freedom and spontaneity, Singapore's strict regime might feel a bit too restrictive. But remember, every place has its pros and cons. It's all about finding the balance that works for you. Singapore's work culture is a double-edged sword. It's a world that thrives on relentless efficiency, productivity, and a drive for success. But like any sword, it has two edges, and one of those edges can cut deep. Let's start with the working hours. In Singapore, the concept of 9 to 5 is often more of a myth than a reality. The workday often stretches well beyond the 8-hour mark, with many employees staying late into the night to meet deadlines, or prepare for the next day's challenges. 
The Ministry of Manpower's regulations may stipulate a maximum of 44 hours per week. But in reality, it's not uncommon for individuals to clock in over 50, 60, or even more hours in a single week. This high-pressure environment is further intensified by the competitive nature of Singapore's job market. It's a city that prides itself on meritocracy, which means that success is often equated with hard work and long hours. This can lead to a significant amount of stress, with many individuals feeling the pressure to constantly perform at their peak. And then there's the issue of work-life balance, or rather, the lack thereof. For many Singaporeans, work doesn't just end when they leave the office. With the advent of technology, work has become omnipresent, invading personal time and space. It's not uncommon for employees to continue responding to emails or messages even after they've clocked out, blurring the lines between work and personal life. But it's not all doom and gloom. Singapore's work culture also fosters a spirit of camaraderie and resilience. It's a culture that values teamwork and mutual support, with colleagues often becoming a second family. And despite the long hours and high stress levels, there's a sense of satisfaction that comes from overcoming challenges and achieving success. Yet, it's important to remember that while the city's relentless pursuit of efficiency and productivity can drive success, it can also take a toll on personal happiness and peace. After all, a double-edged sword, while powerful, can cut both ways. The city's relentless pursuit of efficiency and productivity can sometimes come at the cost of personal happiness and peace. Living in Singapore, like any other place, has its pros and cons. We've taken a deep dive into the darker side of residing in this island city-state. We've explored the high cost of living, where even the basic necessities can put a dent in your wallet. We've talked about the strict rules and regulations that govern almost every facet of life, from chewing gum to flushing toilets and we've shed some light on the intense work culture that leaves little room for leisure and relaxation. Now, it's important to note that these aspects don't entirely define Singapore. They are just pieces of a larger puzzle. Many people thrive in this environment and find the discipline, order, and high standards to be motivating. Yet it's equally true that these conditions can be overwhelming for others. What we've discussed today doesn't negate the fact that Singapore is a marvel of modern urban planning, a global financial hub, and home to a rich, diverse culture. But understanding these challenges can help you make a more informed decision if you're considering a move to Singapore, or simply give you a more nuanced view of this fascinating city-state. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Have you experienced living in Singapore? How did you find it? Your insights could be invaluable to others who are contemplating the same journey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more such insights into the world around us. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.